and a quarter mile. Merge onto I-285 South. Welcome to Crafting with Koss. I'm Koss and welcome back to Crafting with Koss if you're back for another DIY project. So I am excited about today's project. Today I'm going to be creating some really cute drink effusion kits. And so my friends were actually the first people to tell me about these. I had never ever heard of them before and they showed them to me and I was like, those are really cool. So I decided to go ahead and DIY them myself and I thought that they would make really good Christmas gifts, holiday gifts, um, kind of similar to like those hot cocoa kits that you can gift to people i thought that this would be another idea that would be really cool to give to people so if you want to see how i diy'd my own cocktail infusion kits and you can also use these as mocktail infusion kits too so if you don't want to add any alcohol you can just add water and it could be really nice to drink as well. So if you want to see how I crafted these infusion kits, then let's go ahead and let's get right started. So the thing I like about this project is you can actually make this a dollar store DIY. I just didn't feel like hopping from dollar store to dollar store just in case I couldn't find the materials that I was looking for. So I'm going to be using some dollar store products as well as using my Cricut, which is what I'm going to be starting off to create the labels with and some other materials that I got from other stores. So the first thing that I'm doing is I'm starting in Cricut Design Space and I'm basically just going through some different fonts to see exactly what fonts I wanna use for the labels that are gonna be going on my jars. So after I decide on the font that I'm going to be using for the front of the jars, then I also create the words that I'm going to be using for the tags that I'm going to be attaching to the jars as well. I got all of that complete then I went ahead and hit make it so that I could go ahead and cut out the words on some of the vinyl that I already had in my stash <music>
And so I'm using some holographic vinyl that I already had in my stash that I was really excited to use. But after I started to use it, I realized that it wasn't permanent vinyl. So it didn't adhere to the jars very well. So I had to either switch the color vinyl that I was using or I, in my case, I just used some sticker paper and adhered it to the sticker paper and then adhered the sticker paper to the jars. initially wanted them to be but I do like the plan B option that I ended up going with too but this would be really cute if you're able to get some permanent vinyl to put on the jars. transfer tape technique has been the best way that I've been able to do it. I've tried several different methods, tried heating up the transfer tape on top of the vinyl, and this seems to be the easiest way for me to do it. process for all of the jars. And then I added happy holidays to this tag that I got from the dollar store.
got the jars all washed and clean. Then I poured the powdered lemonade mix and the freeze dried fruit into each of the jars. swapped out the string that came with the gift tag because it wasn't long enough and I already had some string to replace it with and so I wrapped it with the string that I had because it was long enough so that it would wrap around the tire lid of the jar so that it looked like a complete package and that's basically it whoever you're going to gift it to they can fill it with their favorite type of alcohol so that they can have a really nice cocktail or they can fill it with water since it's a powder lemonade mix and they can have a cool little mocktail Thanks so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe with the bell to see what I'm crafting next.